Welcome TDC viewers. In this video, I will be synthesizing 1,4-methoxyphenyl-2-nitropropene from 4-methoxybenzaldehyde. This is known as the Henry or nitroaldol reaction, where an aldehyde or ketone reacts with a nitroalkane, along with a catalytic amount of a base to produce the corresponding nitroalkene. These nitroalkenes are useful intermediates in organic syntheses and also for biocatalytic applications. To start the experiment, add 13.62 grams of 4-methoxybenzaldehyde into a suitable glass container. To it, add 7.15 milliliters of nitroethane. Finally, carefully add in 0.98 milliliters of N-butylamine. The mixture will start to produce white fumes. Swirl the mixture for a few seconds. After that, stop at the flask, and wrap aluminium foil around the flask. Place the flask in a dark place at room temperature for two weeks. After 26 hours and 41 minutes, we can observe that the clear reaction mixture has turned into a lemon-colored liquid with round droplets floating at the top of the mixture. After 14 days, the lemon-colored liquid has solidified into yellow-colored crystals. This should be our crude 1,4-methoxyphenyl-2-nitropropene. Okay now, let's have a look at the chemistry. 4-methoxybenzaldehyde and nitroethane react with a catalytic amount of N-butylamine at room temperature for 14 days to produce 1,4-methoxyphenyl-2-nitropropene as a yellow crystalline solid. Filter the crude nitropropene crystals under vacuum and continue to pull vacuum for a few minutes to thoroughly dry the crystals. Okay now, the crude nitropropene was recrystallized from around 20 milliliters of boiling methanol. The hot liquid was quickly filtered and after it cooled down to room temperature, beautiful needle-like crystals were observed. This should be pure 1,4-methoxyphenyl-2-nitropropene. To get most of the crystals to crash out, the flask was put into a nice bath. After an hour, more crystals were formed and it was filtered under vacuum. Again, the vacuum was left on for an additional 20 minutes to thoroughly dry the crystals. After the drying, we are left with light yellow colored crystals that should be pure 1,4-methoxyphenyl-2-nitropropene. Now, we have to conduct a melting point test to check the purity of the nitropropene. Add some of the product into a glass tube and place in a thermometer. Start heating slowly. At 45 degrees Celsius, the crystals are starting to melt. At 46.5 degrees Celsius, the crystals have all melted. From this, our melting point range is between 45 to 46.5 degrees Celsius. The literature value for 1,4-methoxyphenyl-2-nitropropene is between 45 to 46 degrees Celsius. We can conclude that our product is pure. Transfer the product into a glass vial. The yield obtained is 10.68 grams. This is great. Store the product in a dark, cool and dry place. 